What's going on, my peoples? We are up early, man. Um, got a lot of things to do today. Um, waiting for Home Depot to open. We got some things to do around the house. You know how that goes. So today I want to talk about um how to pass your road tests in local trucking. Yeah, that's right, local trucking. Um, see, one thing you guys have to realize um it doesn't matter how long you've been driving. When you get off the road and you decide to come local, doesn't matter what company you go to, you have to be able to pass the road test. They're still going to give you a road test, right? And to be honest with you, obviously, most guys have been driving, so they're going to they're gonna pass a road test, we assume. But I'm going to give you things that you should be able to, to know. Um... And I'm gonna give you from my perspective. Let's just say, for instance, I was I was you coming to my job, and I was asked to give you the road test, what I would look for, right? So I'm gonna give it to you from my my point of view, okay? And I'm gonna um, let you know what I will fail you on. And I'm not gonna fail nobody. I'm just gonna be honest with um, a supervisor. I'm gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna be like, yo. Um, that guy right there um it's up to you guys but he can't drive or i'm gonna <laughs> that sound kind of harsh but i'm just being honest or i'm gonna be like yo that guy right there he's good to go good to go man or i'm gonna take it one step further i'll be like yo that guy right there he's good to go um he just need to um work on the shifting a little bit he haven't been shifting in a while i get it but I can tell that um, once he gets going, he's gonna be all right. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna um I'm gonna um judge somebody on if I was given a road test. And to be honest with you, I gave road tests before. The first thing that I would judge you on. See, some guys um I don't think everybody need to do a road test first of all, because some guys they just wanna um hurry up and push you through. Um, so they can go home, but I take it serious, man, because you got to understand that <laughs> basically whatever company you're working for, they're, they're relying on you, you know what I'm saying, to let, to let them know how you feel about this particular driver, you know, see, it's easy to stare a truck down the road going straight backing up to a dock. First thing I was, I would, um... I'm gonna notice, man. I'm gonna notice um how you do your pre-trip. You know what I'm saying? If you just wanna jump in that damn truck and start it and go, then I'm gonna be, hell no. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, no. I'm gonna be like, yo, I'm I'm gonna give you a chance. I'm gonna be like, yo, you're not gonna do your pre-trip. And I'm not gonna be um tough on nobody when they do their pre-trip i know everybody do their pre-trip differently but the basic things i would judge a driver on is like make sure your lights is working you know your headlights then you um you know you go in front of the truck then you knock out the right side make sure your marker lights is working everything um open your door make sure your fire extinguisher is fully charged um being able to identify your um your cab card your insurance card and your registration and um then walk around the whole truck man make sure the tires is good uh, make sure the tires on the the depth on the tires is up to proper standard you know um making sure the um tractor and trailer is properly attached um, make sure your airlines is um good to go you know i'm not gonna be too tough on nobody just walk around the whole truck man just do a regular pre-trip you know i'm gonna be i'm gonna judge somebody on how they do the pre-trip i would not fail a driver on on doing a bad pre-trip i'm just gonna let them know like yo if you're gonna be working here man especially with a company of slip seating you gotta do your pre-trip, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do your pre-trip. 
And then after that, first thing I'm gonna do, we're probably gonna get in the truck and then I usually tell people to just calm down, relax, you know, just pretend like it's an everyday thing. But the first thing I'm gonna do, I wanna see how a driver backs up before we even go on the road, you know? Um, want them to back up to the dock and back in between two trucks, right? I would also do a blindside backing, you know, because, um, and that's one thing I'm not really going to judge too hard on. But I will judge big on is blindside backing. And the reason why I'm going to judge big on blindside backing. Because you got to understand that blindside backing is a part of local trucking. Especially food service. Right? Now here where here's where I get kind of hard on drivers. When I'm doing the road test. Right? If you come in to work with a company and the majority of their fleet is stick shift, you guys might know it as standard. I call it stick shift, right? I'm going to judge you hard on your shifting, man. And the reason I'm going to judge hard on the shifting, you got to know how to move that truck. See, if you don't know how to move that truck, how are you going to get from point A to point B? It's just not gonna happen. So, if you can't even make that truck move on shifting, then I'm gonna be like, yo, we can't go on. And if you're gonna sit there and ask me, um, can you do it in an automatic truck? I'm gonna be like, yo, but majority of the fleet is standard. I mean, most companies not gonna make a special case for you to drive an automatic every day, especially when slip seating is involved. So I'm gonna be huge on that. So I just let the supervisor know, I'm like, yo, we can't go on, this person can't shift. We can't. <laughs> I'm laughing now, cause this happened before. We can't even get out the gate. We can't even move the truck, all right? All right, the next thing I'm gonna judge a driver on is and this is where I this is where I go kind of easy though. If I see that you can shift but you just you just having a I hear you grinding gears even though that's not a good thing. But you know what you're doing. I can tell if you know what you're doing. You just having the driver stick in a long time and you just being honest with whoever's giving you the test. But I see that you're able to move the truck and you're shifting, you just it's just kind of rough. You know, I can talk you through it. I can talk you through the RPMs and stuff like that. And, um, but you're being a safe driver. You're stopping at all the um, stop sign. You're putting on your signal. You're looking at, you're looking way ahead, you know? And um, you, you're doing all the right stuff. Then I'm gonna go easy on you, right? Then I'll push you through. And, um, and another thing, man, that I, that, you know, um, guys that give road tests or judge on is just how you maneuver the truck in traffic. You know, are you keeping your eyes moving? You know, you gotta keep your eyes moving. Um, you gotta see the big picture. You know, you gotta leave yourself out. Leave yourself out, um, a safe following distance. Um, you gotta cover your brakes. You know, you gotta know where your um, city horn is, um, air horn, all the safety features, you gotta use your signal, you know? I just wanna make sure that if I'm giving a road test, whoever is doing the road test is, is able to drive, you know, safe as possible, you know? And um, going around the corner nice and slow, not taking no curves, good, good, cause you gotta understand um, at local food service, the um, trailer is usually going to be loaded. And if I notice a driver always going over a curve, nine out of ten times, you're going to knock over a pallet, right? I'm going to be honest with you. Most of the guys that I have road tests before, they pass. You know, because, let's just be honest, most of the guys that do come local, they know how to drive. 
but you always have one or two drivers that seem like they never drove a day in their life and you're wondering like how you've been over the road for the past year what have you been doing they, 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 like they can't they can't move the truck they don't know how to do a pre-trip they can't back up to save their life now that's when I'm gonna be like you know what like I'm gonna be honest with you I gave a road test before where <laughs> it's like as soon as you get in the truck like the driver for the driver don't even let you feel safe I'm thinking to myself like oh no don't put on your seat belt they can't shift. They want to look at the shifting um diagram. But right, hold on, give me give me a second there. Let me look at the shifting diagram. Is this a super ten? Yes, yeah, a super ten, sir. Do I have the double clutch? Just move the truck, sir. You know what I mean? All the damn questions. I never drove a Freightliner. Um, that's your problem, sir. You gotta drive this Freightliner today. I never drove these internationals. I'm like, hey. A trucker, a driver is a driver. So you know, um so my my um my my message to you is when you come locally, just relax man and drive. Um and you will pass the road test. You know, just relax and drive, man, and um and you'll be good. You know, so hope this video helps out some people, man. Any question you got, just let me know. This is our uh, first video today. I got a couple more on the way. I appreciate everybody for watching, man. Um, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and um, uh, like the video if you want to. Feel me? Y'all be easy out there.